Hi, my name is Amira and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a review, overview, uh, kind of demo of the whole new Boing range by Benefit. So I'm very, very lucky to be on Benefit's PR. So they sent out this cute little like back to school thing with my name on it and you know just um, some notebooks cute stuff and all of the Boing concealers. I also have a blog post that is going up at the same time so I'm going to link that down below for you all. It has swatches of all three shades of all four concealers so if you're kind of not sure you want to see like what the difference between the shades is you can check that out as well as like I've got a lot more just kind of other information or if I'm noticing like some trends and specific questions that people are searching for then I will include that in there but this is just kind of my like my general overview and then yeah check out the blog post for more info so the new packaging is all like little erasers and it's so cute and then like even the actual packaging itself is like the little tops of rubbers because what do you want to do with all your blemishes and imperfections you want to erase them so I think that is very very cute so there are four concealers in the Boing range Three of them are the exact same formula as three existing concealers. They have just been repackaged and renamed um, as all part of the one family. And then there is one new concealer. So first up is Boying Hydrating Concealer. This one is the revamped Fake Up. So I had Fake Up and then here is Boying. They're both in the same kind of lipstick tube that you wind up. There is a ring of like hydrating kind of lip balm type deal with your color in the center. So when you see the swatches of these, you can see there's like hydration around the edges. So this is really good for, you know, if you have a really dry skin or, you know, if you're sick and you get like dry and flaky around your nose, if you have really dry under eyes, anything like that, this is going to be really, really good for you. Shade one is a lighter neutral tone. I find shade two to be a little bit more pink toned. And then shade three is more of your tan kind of warm tone shade. When I'm not fake tanned, I can use shade number two to um, correct the darkness under my eyes, shade number one to highlight the center of my face, and shade number three to kind of bronze up. And I find that it gives a really nice kind of overall glow to the skin. Now my favorite way to use this concealer is actually to highlight my face with. So I like to use shade number one and I like to kind of draw this one um, through all the high points of my face. I don't like to use this concealer directly under my eyes. I have obviously in this demo, just so you can see like the coverage and everything, um, how it looks. Personally, I really like liquid still under my eyes. So all of these are a bit too kind of like creamy, like thick stick kind of formulas. They don't personally work the best directly under their eyes on their own, but with other concealers, yes. Um, so I do like to use this one to highlight the high points of my face because it is so dewy and glowy. So you know um, how like highlighting the center of your face with a concealer is like, you know, just what, what we do nowadays. Um, I really like to use this one for that because since it is on the sheerer side of concealers and it has that hydration, it draws the light um, so that it's not just lighter there, it does also have a sheen to really, really set off that highlighted look and I just find it works really, really well. If I'm sick, I also love to use this around my nose and everything. Then we have the Brightening Concealer, which is erase paste repackaged. Um, so this again is like another eraser style product. So you can compare, this one's a stick, this one's a little tub. So you open him up and you have your peachy tone corrector on the inside. In this range, again, there's three colors. They are all on that peachy pink spectrum because they are all designed to correct darkness under the eyes, uh, pigmentation, uh, sunspots, anything like that. Anything that's kind of dark and like purpley blue toned, it's going to help correct and lift and brighten that, hence the name Brightening Concealer. Anything that's going to help my dark circles, I am all for. So I do really like this one. I prefer to use a little bit of it um, just where I'm dark under the eyes and then I like to take my more liquid concealer over the top to kind of brighten. So I use it, even though it's called brightening, I use it it's like your corrector basically to cancel out and brighten those dark tones. But then when I want to brighten this whole area, I will use a lighter liquid concealer on top. Then we have Industrial Strength. Now this is the original Boing. You may be very confused if you didn't realize everything got repackaged and you just used the original Boing. You'll be like, why the hell are there four Boings now? Uh, but this is the original. I have had this in the past 
but mine was hella old because it was probably one of the first things I ever got from Benefit so that is long gone now um, but it is just a traditional concealer in like your little pan type deal. I find that these types of concealers are very very full coverage and definitely on the driest side. My favorite ways to use industrial strength are definitely to spot conceal blemishes. Since it is very full coverage, very matte, you only need a really really small amount and since you know you generally don't want your concealer moving around since it has that matte finish it's really going to stick to any blemishes and kind of not transfer off during the day which is obviously ideal i like to take shade two because it runs a little bit more pink and i will use that as a corrector as well sometimes um, when i'm a lot fairer like at the moment number three which is the darkest is like a perfect match for my skin pretty much because i'm so pan at the moment um, so when I'm fair, I do like to use this one to kind of contour and bronze a little bit. Any of these concealers actually work really, really well for that, except a race paste because that's obviously pink just for under the eyes. Um, but yeah, it, I do wish there were some darker shades because like I ideally would like to kind of contour and bronze with this because I do find that I get um, breakouts sometimes on my cheeks. Um, so as soon as you start like kind of buffing products over there, your foundation comes off. So if you're going in with a concealer to add that darkness, then you're not going to really be like having that problem because it's concealer. It's going to be concealing at the same time. But yeah, personally, I don't find this one works great under my eyes on its own. As I said, I do always like to use like a thicker um, concealer under my eyes and then a liquid on top. That's what I find works best for me. So I will use it as a corrector and I will use it for spot treatment on my face. Um, but that is about it for me. If you have really oily skin, you could probably definitely get away with highlighting like the center of your face with it. But yeah, definitely if you suffer from problem, problem, <laughs> problematic spots, then yeah, definitely give that one a go. Then we have the new edition, which is the airbrush concealer. Now, let's go over the airbrush concealer because obviously this one is the newest so the other ones are just repackaged this one is new so i kind of was wondering what the difference would be because when i open them up you know it kind of looks almost the same as industrial strength obviously the packaging itself is very very different the airbrush concealer is a lot more like i don't know i feel like the um industrial strength they're just like a very basic tin and all of the other ones kind of follow that eraser style packaging so i don't quite know what happened there um, but this one is just really really soft and creamy so the airbrush concealer is very very liquidy and hydrating it's it's not like the um, hydrating concealer hydrating concealer is almost like a lip balm type feel whereas the airbrush concealer just feels like very very soft and creamy the other ones almost you kind of have to work, warm up a little bit with your finger to get them to pay off this one just like as soon as you run your finger in there it's like really liquid and um, has quite a lot of slip i did think that that would mean it would crease a lot and it just wouldn't sit too nicely like it would apply nice and then probably not last as well but i have actually been really impressed with this one as i said so many times i love a liquid under my eyes so out of all of them i do find that this one sets sits the best under my eyes on its own but yeah i probably still would not usually wear it on its own under my eyes because i would prefer to yeah use a thicker one and then a hydrating one on top but this did actually highlight the center of my face really nicely as well the claims of this one is actually that it will blur smooth and conceal it's good for unevenness fine lines and under eye circles it's soft focus lightweight formula conceals retouches covers imperfections dark circles with a flawless finish melts on seam 14 hour long wear waterproof doesn't crease cake or crack now as I said I was expecting it to slip around a lot but I did almost find that it starts to self set I kind of usually yeah, apply it everywhere I want first and then start to blend it out and I did notice in some spots it was a little bit harder to blend because it had been sitting there too long so it definitely does start to self set which I was not expecting and was really impressed by you just have to obviously keep that in mind when you're going to be applying it only apply it to one area area at a time work it in then apply more to other areas so it really depends on your skin concerns on which concealer I think would be best for you me with drier skin I definitely feel like the airbrush concealer and the hydrating concealer are my two faves I can use the shade number two in the um, airbrush concealer to like correct the darkness under my eyes and then shade number one to brighten and highlight I can use the hydrating concealer when I get dryness around my nose which is when I'm sick but also not when I'm sick 
because I just always get really bad sinus and blow my nose like a million times a day. For me personally, I don't really need a concealer like industrial strength because I don't get many breakouts on my face and I personally think that that's where that one would be the best for, for breakouts on your actual face or if you have a lot of redness um, like rosacea, um, sunspots, severe acne, anything like that and your skin is on the normal to oilier side then industrial strength you're gonna love it. You're absolutely gonna love it. For me, the only way I would really use um, industrial strength is, as I said, if I get like a spot pimple or something, um, or I could use shade number two, would work quite well for me just under the eyes as my corrector before I brighten up. If you get dry, crusty breakouts though, it will probably be too dry for you. So that's where I would probably recommend using the airbrush concealer if it's quite red. Um, that one will turn it down and is still kind of like hydrating enough. Hydrating concealer would work well, but it doesn't have a lot of coverage. So it just kind of depends. Like if maybe you're going for a no makeup day and you just want to tone it down a little bit and make it look not quite so dry or whatever, that one would probably be enough. Um, but it just depends. <laughs> if you have severe dark circles, girl, you are going to love brightening. It's really hard with these full range reviews um, because obviously there's four concealers. There's a lot to talk about on each one. And since they're all in the one range, I feel like it's best to put them all together in one video to really help you guys kind of figure out what one will be best for you and maybe what one to save your money on and what one to splurge on, um, et cetera, et cetera. And what's the price actually? The price is $34 which isn't actually that much at all here in Australia high-end concealers are like 40 40 bucks like so 34 is pretty good I will say <laughs> let me know below what your favorite boy concealer is I feel like I feel like mine is actually the newest one can you believe it the airbrush concealer I feel like that one is my favorite if that one didn't come out then I think I would have to say hydrating concealer because it probably gets used the best for me. Um, but yeah, those are my faves. Let me know yours below. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up. Turn on the little bell because that's what people are doing now. So you don't miss out on videos and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. And we will see you all next time. Bye, guys.